So with Rakaia just about six weeks away from giving birth, we wanted to meet her doula. Her name is Kashana Watts, and she is literally on the front lines of Mississippi's infant mortality crisis. We got the baby kicking. Hmm? He rolling got the everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I think he likes it better when I'm relaxed. <laughs> he moves more. Right. <laughs> Kashana met Rakaya through Jackson Safer Childbirth Experience, a program that offers doula services to moms whose insurance doesn't cover the cost or who otherwise can't afford it. The initiative is led by the Mississippi Public Health Institute. Why did you become a doula? I became a doula because I wanted to be to these moms the person that I needed when I was pregnant. I didn't have anybody advocating for me. So walk me through a typical day for you. A typical day for me is calling clients, how they doing mentally or physically that day, scheduling prenatal visits, postpartum visits, exercise that they should be doing every day, talking about nutrition. So basically everything. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, good morning. How are you, Kiara? I'm good. How you doing? I'm fine. How's baby boy? He is good. Growing and growing. Great. I am so proud of you. I am so happy for you. We advocate and speak up for mothers. If I don't have the answers, I will find them. If I can't do it, I will connect you to the right resources. I'm there with you. Call me if you need me. I don't care if it's 3 o'clock in the morning. Call me if you need me. How do you deal with a client like Rakaya who's, who's afraid? I mean, she had a terrible loss. Just being there for her. She has came a long way. I want you to envision the birth like it's already happened. You get what I'm saying? Like, just convince yourself that you can do it and you got this. You're a strong woman. You're a strong woman, Rakaya. I try to be, <laughs> girl. I try to be. Studies show that mothers with doulas tend to have shorter labor fewer premature births, and a decreased likelihood of C-sections. Some doulas offer support for moms and babies up to 12 months postpartum, in that critical period where moms need it the most. Do you think doulas are a solution to helping women who are giving birth? Absolutely. When women are paired with doulas, they have better health outcomes. And so my partner, Magnolia Medical Foundation, we are creating a registry in the state for doulas and other birth workers to register their work. Normalizing all of these great experiences for black women is really the bigger goal. In addition to building credibility and spreading awareness around doulas, Nikitra remains motivated by the memory of her Aunt Kim to make sure black mothers are heard. She's pushing to bring implicit bias training to healthcare providers. We are developing a curriculum around black maternal health and racism in the healthcare system, and we'll be piloting that training in public health schools as well as nursing schools. If we can get to providers before they begin providing care, then we're working on that big systems level.